I start with the excitement that I also feel for maybe after the Industrial Revolution, this is the biggest thing. Um, and so therefore, I, 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 I start with that premise. Uh, but at the same time, I'm a little grounded in the fact that uh, this is still early innings. Uh, we've built some very useful things. We're seeing some great properties. These scaling laws seem to be working. Um, and I'm optimistic that they'll continue to work, right? Some of it is, um, you know, it does require real science breakthroughs, but it's also a lot of engineering and what have you. But that said, I also sort of take the view that, you know, even what has been happening in the last 70 years of computing uh, has also been a march uh, that has helped us move, um, you know, with, the, as I said, you know, I, I like one of the things that Raj Reddy uh, has as a metaphor for what AI is, right? He's a, he's a Turing Award winner out of uh, CMU. Um, and he's always, I and mean, he had this even pre-AGI, uh, but he had this metaphor of uh, AI should either be a guardian angel or a cognitive amplifier. I love that. Uh, it's a simple way to think about what this is. Ultimately, what is its human utility? It is going to be a cognitive amplifier uh, and a guardian angel. And so if I sort of view it that way, I view it as a tool. But then you can also go very mystical about it and say, wow, this is you know, more than a tool. It does all these things which only humans did so far. But that has been the case with many technologies in the past. Only humans did a lot of things and then we had tools that did them. <laughs>